$500 reward for Eddie? Sure it's enough? <laughs> right now, it's about 500 more than I'd pay to get you back. He's here in case anybody sees him. I got the guys at the station circulating Eddie's picture. I'm gonna go out and look for him some more. Oh, come on now. You've done enough. Why don't you just sit still and drink your tea? I hate tea. Humor me. In an emergency, it's all I know how to do. That's a real comfort coming from a health care provider. <laughs> Dad, I'm sorry. There was no luck at the pound. They said they'd call if they find a dog matching Eddie's description. A $500 reward for Eddie? Sure it's enough? <laughs> right now, it's about 500 more than I'd pay to get you back. <laughs> Look, Dad, I said I was sorry. Well, I just can't sit here. I'm going back to the park. The park again? <laughs> what makes you think he's going to show up there? Because that's his hangout. Didn't you ever have a place like that, somewhere where you went to meet women, a place where you got lucky? <laughs> well, I suppose so, yeah. Didn't you go back? To the park! Uh, this time we'll comb every inch of that place, every tree, every bush. And, and uh, Daphne, uh, we're gonna need more help, so call Niles and tell him we'll pick him up. Oh, yes, we wouldn't want to go out into the wild without one of the world's great outdoorsmen. Oh, what? This is odd. I just got one of my psychic flashes. It's about Eddie. Well? It doesn't make any sense. All I'm getting is a, a picture of Eddie sitting with Dr. Crane. <laughs> Any luck? I couldn't find him. Where's Niles? Uh, we split up to cover more ground. Well, scrunch down. If Eddie comes back and sees you here, he'll run away again. <laughs> you know, Dad, maybe we ought to call it a night. You've been sitting in this car for three hours. Oh, that's nothing. I was on a stakeout once for 15 hours without ever getting out of the car. We had a contest so you could last the longest. The winner was Canteen McHugh. You know why we called him that? I think I can guess. Because his bladder was the size of a canteen. Thank you for clearing that up. You could have slung his bladder over your shoulder and gone on a 20-mile force march through the desert. Big, huh? Isn't that what I've been saying? <laughs>